And their final World Cup warm-up game, an experimental England side ran out 2-1 winners against Japan. But it was more by accident than design. Fabio Capello's side played poorly in this one and were behind as early as seven minutes. Japan took the lead through their central defender, Tanaka. It came following a Yasuhito Endo corner. England were caught napping. Glenn Johnson allowed Tanaka to get to the ball first. And David James beaten on his return to the England side. It took England some time to get going in this one, but they were given the lifeline in the second half when Honda inexplicably handled Frank Lampard's free kick. A penalty to England. Lampard stepped up. The Chelsea man normally so reliable from the spots that he saw his effort brilliantly saved by the Japanese goalkeeper Kawashima. Lampard outwitted by the Japanese stopper who guessed right and got a strong hand to the ball. It's now Lampard's second consecutive missed penalty for club and country. Wayne Rooney was one of England's better players. He came close to levelling things soon afterwards. But once again, Kawashima was on top form for Japan, clawing this Rooney effort out of the air. But with 18 minutes to go, Japan pushed the self-destruct button. Two own goals in the latter stages handed England victory. On 72 minutes, Tanaka, the man who had opened the goal scoring in the first half, turned Joe Cole's cross beyond his own goalkeeper with a spectacular flying header. And if England were fortunate to be on level terms, better things were just around the corner. 11 minutes later, Nakazawa also inadvertently got himself on the score sheets when he got the vital touch to Ashley Cole's cross. England won it by two goals to one, but scarcely deserved to. And there will be an inquest after this one ahead of the World Cup opener.